Kunayak Pana collects the rebound, just four on the clock. Burton's gonna have to force one up, looking for another end of quarter buzzer beater. She throws it, and he gets it to go again for the second game in a row. Veronica Burton from half court. Run me through your family history here at Northwestern. Definitely. Sometimes I honestly lose track of the numbers. Started my grandfather, Ron, um, played football here. Then it was my dad, Steve, my uncle, Ron, Uncle Phil and Uncle Paul all played football here. My aunt, Elizabeth, who's my dad's sister, was a student here. Um, another one of my aunts was a student here as well. My mom swam here. So it's definitely huge in the family. I mean, a lot of purple, and I think that's really very fun as well, just because you have everyone riding for Northwestern. I was introduced to the school at a pretty young age, but I never really like thought of coming here because I knew all about the school, but I kind of knew it as a place where my parents went and like my family went. Never really where I was gonna go. Veronica's father, Steve, played quarterback at Northwestern. Her mom was an All-American swimmer at Northwestern, and her grandfather, Mike, he's in the Athletics Hall of Fame there. And Burton knocks down a three for the first score of today. She is a first-year player for the squad, doesn't quite play like that. And once I actually saw it for myself and really understood what they were talking about, that's when I was like, it was a no-brainer. And two weeks after I came on my visit, um, I called right back and I committed, and it was, was the best decision I've ever made. Today is the first day of college for our four freshmen. We have obviously from Boston, Massachusetts, we have Veronica Bird. Welcome to Northwestern. Thank you. How's the first day of moving? It's a little chaotic, but it's a lot of fun. They kick it out into the corner to the freshman, and she drills the three for Veronica Bird. To me, it's just such a beautiful thing. Um, I get to get a sense of what my dad experienced to see my niece go there now. Burton, step back triple, drains it. Well, off the turnover, the bucket and the foul for Burton. You see how well she's doing both as a team and individually is so touching, is so beautiful to see. She works so hard. I remember her as a five and six year old girl shooting the baskets at her home. So to see her shine in Northwestern, not just as an athlete, but as a student athlete, it's like, wow, this started a long time ago with my, with my dad. And now her, his granddaughter is there lighting it up uh, in a way that's never been lit up before. For Northwestern, they need to contain the paint. They have a blizzard defense, and they're going to apply it all evening long to try to control that potent offense by Ohio State. Great teams, they look at opportunities like today and say, let's go, man, let's go. Oh! I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to win this game. Veronica Burton has picked up her scoring production. She's not just the staunch defender. Christy, we're seeing it already. In the first quarter alone, Burton has seven points, six boards, three assists, a steal. I mean, she's doing everything. You know what she's going to bring every day to the table, and she's going to do whatever she needs to do to help us win at the end of the day and make us better. Burton still three assists shy of a triple-double. Maybe she'll get one there. She does. In, in her case, man, she just, it's the whole package. You know, it's the leadership, it's off the court. Um, it's, she's willing to do whatever it takes. She has just played such a balanced game. Nine assists, and Morris thinks so. She will end the game with 20 points, 15 rebounds, and nine assists.
my longest day for sure. It's definitely a huge adjustment, just kind of adapting to life on Zoom. I mean, it's not something that we've really ever done before. Just being able to do it from the comfort of your home, or whether it be like I can be at the arena three hours early, go right to practice instead of having to, okay, be in class, be in the building, and then like, trans like transport myself to practice. It's been a lot easier. In general, I'm definitely with my team often, whether in a pandemic or not, but it just definitely kind of is more pressure to do that. Just kind of, okay, we have to be extra careful about what we're doing. We have to keep that bubble and um, only see each other, see the people that you're um, practicing with every single day and doing all these activities with. At this kind of home stretch of the season, like we all want to play, this is what we've been working for. So, in order to do that, we need to be making the right decisions in terms of maintaining that bubble. I gotta wipe it down. Putting in all the work and all the success that we were able to have last year and just how, how much fun it was to honestly be on the court together and see our hard work pay off and then just kind of having that just like ripped away right in front of us, a feeling like we all hate it. The coronavirus is impacting the sports world. The sports world rocked by the coronavirus, the NCAA canceling the March Madness tournament. We try not to harp too much on our success last year. We know it was an amazing season and we've got unfinished business. Being able to play right now is something that we cannot take for granted. Her mindset going into games, she said that she's in attack mode and she kind of knew that she had to shift her mentality offensively in order to score more and get Northwestern those wins. She knew that they were graduating a couple good scorers and that she needed to fill that role. She's the first one here and the last one to leave. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't happen by chance. I mean, she she's invested 100 percent. Yes, her stat line has changed, but she is just a student of the game and has such a high level basketball IQ. Over the past couple of years, she's just become so much more aggressive offensively. Um, we knew what she brought defensively, um, but this year she's really stepped up and has been a big part of our offense. I mean, we know her for so many things, especially defensively, but scoring, she's gone from eight points a game as a freshman to 11 as a sophomore to 17 right now as a junior. I think she's done a great job of being Veronica Burton and you know, letting everything else handle itself.